Hello, welcome to my channel. Um, if you clicked on this video, it's going to be because you have a lot of issues like I do with styes. Um, I've had issues with styes for about uh, seven to eight years now. Uh, I've done radical, I've made radical changes in my life to address that issue and many other issues. Um, like uh, I was on a raw food diet for uh, two, two and a half years. And that helped it for a little bit, but it was still just basically a shortcoming, keeping it at bay so that uh, if I got off the raw food diet, then it would basically flare up again. I'd start getting styes and issues. Um, I did a number of changes in my diet. Uh, I did like the Wim Hof for several months, getting into ice baths. That helped it during that time. It was really extreme and like super painful and just terrible. Um uh, None of the things that I did worked. It was basically hounding me all the time, and so um, always on my always on my heels, you know. Anyway, um, I decided to um, when I uh, my girlfriend I went to my girlfriend's house, and uh, there was a, a gentleman there. His name is Tom. He's a Croatian elderly man, and he basically uh, was telling me that when you walk on the grass, um, it cools the body. And uh, he had some really interesting things to, to talk to me about, and I'm always willing to listen. And I thought about this later on. It made a lot of sense to me. That means something. It cools the body. How does it cool and soothe the body? What does this mean? And then I started thinking of inflammation. Inflammation is like fire, infl inflamed. And I started thinking, okay, inflammation uh, and cooling. So if you have any fires, any inflammation, whether it's the eyes, your knees, your shoulders, your back, it's inflammation, it's fire. And when you walk on the grass, it's supposed to cool you. Well, I didn't know. I've never heard of anything like that. So I thought I'd just try it. So I went outside. I walked on the grass for about 10 minutes. And I came inside. And in the morning, my bumps were gone. My styes were gone. And I didn't understand how a sty can disappear overnight. But okay. So um, I said, this is a good thing. So I walked again um, in the morning barefoot on the grass and then at night another five minutes so five minutes in the morning five minutes at night that was really good and I did this for four to five months and it kept it at bay so for if we were going to go out for uh for a wedding or with some friends if I was grounding then I was definitely uh staying clear and looked like a normal person but if I didn't ground one day or even missed my morning by the afternoon my redness was back and I went with this for a while because it's the only thing that I, I mean, I tried. I, I, I went to doctors for this. They did blood work. It was like endless. I even had these really like marbles under my eyes. And when I did the raw food diet and started drinking distilled water for a while, those went away. Um, and they ended up coming back when I was not eating raw anymore. And it was, it's like a permanent bump that was there. It just, I just realized right now <laughs> before I started recording that the bump's gone. And that would have been no more than maybe two weeks ago that I checked it. So that brings me to what I've been doing that has actually uh, really helped me with the styes totally disappear. And that's uh, neem oil. If you haven't heard of neem oil, um, it's basically from India. Uh, it's an Ayurvedic uh, belief that, that neem oil can really... Um, it's very antibacterial and it can really help. And a lot of people use it for their gardens. They spray the oil uh, mixed with uh, um, some kind of a solvent onto the onto the uh, foliage, and then the bugs don't bother. The mosquitoes don't get on you if you have it on your body, and the bugs don't eat your plants that you planted. So um, anyway, I decided to put, you, you can put this on your skin, and it's great for acne. It's amazing. But you put this right here. You basically rub it. Under here, you don't let it get in your eye. You can close your eye and just kind of rub it in. And uh, I rub it, basically rub it all over my face. But oil is very toxic. Uh, neem oil is very toxic in the body. You're not supposed to ingest it. So don't put it on your lips. Because then you can lick your lips. It might give you, you know, um, a little bit of an upset stomach. I haven't had that yet. I lick my lips all the time and it's really bitter. Uh, but basically, I found that neem... Um, has made these bumps go away and the irritation go away and um, that in combination with grounding has just been my my savior it's been basically what uh, what I really really needed 
and I tried everything out there and none of the stuff that I tried that's on the internet worked so I had to like I had to make this video it's so important but don't forget to subscribe if you like the information that I'm putting out because the things that I put out are things that have helped me with issues that I've had physically and I've had a lot I've been a preschool teacher uh, for 14 years and during that time I, I, I got sick every three weeks to uh, once a month for the first couple of years of being a preschool teacher. After that, I got better, but it was still very, very regular. And I got to the point where I just wasn't sick throughout the entire year. I learned how to how to correct that, but I'm going to keep that for another video, keep this video short. Anyway, uh, if you subscribe, you know, then anytime that you're looking for information, uh, you'll come across my video. A lot of the information that I have to put out, I haven't found it on the internet. I've searched and so there's a lot of information that's um, that's coming from me that has been basically the last 20 years of my life. I've been uh, trying to help myself. I'm in my 40s now, and I started this when I was in my mid-20s. And so uh, I have a lot to, to offer and share, and I hope you're enjoying the videos. Uh, until next time.